Well, I'm just going to do a quick video just thinking about people that have thought about selling or maybe on the fence about selling and, you know, or maybe thinking about what are some things I can do to prepare myself to sell my property when I'm ready to go. I mean, certainly there's a long list. You know, I was reading a few articles today and I mean, Forbes has put out a list, HGTV has a list. I mean, there are tons of things you can do. There are things like no cost. There are things that are a little bit of money, a lot of money. I mean, it really, it really varies. Okay, I'm gonna talk to you about some things that don't cost very much money. Um, you know, in my times when I've previewed homes and I've just kind of walked through them, um, I think one of the biggest things you can do, and you've probably heard it a million times before, but most houses just need like a professional cleaning. Um, you know, sometimes they're just like sort of stains on the walls and stuff. And I can tell you, um, in my experience, something small like that, like just really getting a nice full clean on a home can really make a huge difference. And that would also include the exterior. I mean, just go through and maybe just have it pressure washed. Um, you know, it could be relatively little money. I mean, you're not doing a real renovation. Um, I think that another thing that you can do before you get too far into doing a bunch of renos, because maybe your property is a little bit dated, I mean, you know, everyone has a different situation, um, is, um, maybe just make a list, you know, like, you know, the buyer is probably going to want to do a home inspection and, you know, for you know, relatively little money up front, um, you can kind of look and see like, okay, what things do I need to do to my property? You know, what uh, small maintenance things are there or are there big maintenance things? What are they? And, you know, do you want to deal with them? How much are they going to be? Um, and, you know, you can just kind of find out. And I mean, if you're aware of things, handle them, you know, some of them are small, but, you know, it all varies. Um, you know, another really cool thing that's been on my mind, I read this article and they talked about doing a thing called like a faux renovation. And this is just kind of hitting some of the more impactful areas of the home. So this would be like, you know, maybe the kitchen or the bathroom and just maybe upgrading the fixtures. You know, I mean, you can go in and at Home Depot, you know, you could replace like the faucet for the bathroom and the kitchen for relatively little money. I mean... You, you could go really, really cheap and, you know, get the ones that are like $25 and it would probably be an improvement over what you have if you're even considering changing it out. Um, and, I mean, I think, that, I think that's a really good idea. I mean, because those are like the little things that matter. Those are things that I'm thinking about. I'm thinking about those little things that count. You know, the other thing, you know, the other thing that just kind of really annoys me when I go into houses is you know, all the face plates. You know, like sometimes they have like that weird dated beige. I mean, I don't know. Okay, but we're past that. I mean, so, you know, I mean, I'm not, you know, I think that those things are like a couple dollars a piece. And they don't take very much time. I mean, all you need is like a flathead screwdriver and a, a few minutes, maybe a, a weekend, and you can change those out and, you know, really improve the look of your home, which is nice. Um, and I think really lastly, uh, and probably most importantly, is once you've sort of made this list of things, sit down with a real estate agent. Why? Well, I mean, you're gonna wanna have some professional advice on what the market is, what's really required of you, um, and, you know, a little bit of help identifying those key areas that are important for the area that your, your house is in. You know, like, what are those buyers looking for? Do they want something that's fully renovated? Do they want something that's just kind of touched up? You know, like, what, you know, and, and it's not even that. It's just, it's more like, all those factors included and then how can you sort of strategically market your house in its condition or in upgraded condition to make it most attractive to buyers I mean that's what you need to know what are, what are the things you need to do to sort of play to your to the strengths of your property you know maybe maybe it's a strength that it's not updated I mean obviously there are plenty of people that want to come into a, a property and put their own footprint on it and say okay I picked the countertops I picked the flooring I picked everything and, you know, there's obviously a, a, a targeted group that, that wants things done. You know, they don't want to 
put the work in and they would like it if it was if it were completely finished you know and so it really comes down to like who are you who are you looking to target what is the best way that you can kind of put your your property's best foot forward and um, you know sitting down with a, a real estate agent um, or a real estate professional be really really helpful there anyway you know, my name is Ashley um, please visit my website ashleybolden.com if you are interested in listing your home or if you're interested in buying I am happy to help you either way um, you know, reach out to me on my Facebook page. My Facebook page is Ashley Bolden as well. And um, if you like the video, hit the like. Um, if you hated the video, you know, I would love some feedback. I'm just making some videos now, so you can do the thumbs down, leave some comments. That would be fantastic. Otherwise, I will see you again soon, YouTube.